welcome student today we are going to start with unit 3 database management system and in this video we are going to cover the very first learning outcome appreciate the concept of database management system under this we are going to cover concepts and examples of data and information concepts of database advantages of database features of database and concept examples of relational database concepts of examples of field record table database primary key composite key foreign key first let's understand what is data and information in this cloud there are certain letters given over here so this is data data is raw facts and figures which doesn't have any meaning after processing the data or you can say arranging it in a certain way it is called processing so when we process the data when we arrange it in a particular order it becomes an information for example when i arrange these letters it becomes a word computer which has some meaning over here these letter doesn't have any meaning but this word has a meaning so this is information which has some meaning in itself and data does not have any meaning it is just raw facts and figures which is processed and then it becomes information the next term is database a database is an integrated collection of data records files and other objects for example in a class the detail of each student is a record and when i store all these record it becomes a file so database is a collection of files records and other objects other objects could be like forms or we can have reports these are different objects basically there are four objects of dbms which you are going to learn in our dbms they are tables queries reports and forms we will discuss them as we proceed so let's understand what is a database it is an organized collection of interrelated data we can visualize it as a container of information which contains a lot of information in it database often thought of as a repository of information needed for running certain function in an organization repository means the place where you store the things now let's understand this concept of database with an example when a child takes admission to a school his record is kept at office and then it is also kept by the class teacher after exam his record is maintained by different subject teachers and finally compiled progress report is generated so we have different files for maintaining the record of that student like his record is maintained in the admission register or file his attendance is maintained in attendance register which is not written here then we have marks register or marks file and we have result register and file where we have the consolidated result and we have some more files and registers now these files and the records or your data data is your name your admission number your parents name your home address your contact number email this is all data suppose data is i have five students data i have the contact number of five student i have the name of five student i have the home address i have parents name of all these five students so this is data but when i arrange them like for a particular student i write his name his contact number his email address his parents name his home address then it becomes a record so when these files which contains these records they are interlinked with each other like the office file which contains the admission number the home address contact information and parents information about a child is also related with the file which is there with the class teacher because class teacher is also having the admission number the contact number the email address and other details apart from that class teacher also maintain other information like blood group like uh, the roll number the results the marks in different subjects so somehow these files are interlinked data of these files when kept together it creates a database so when these files are stored at one location it becomes database like you keep all your favorite music tracks in one folder so each track is a record or a file and collectively these are stored in a folder the same way all the files when kept together it creates a database for example the admission file the attendance register file or attendance file the marks in different subjects the file of that 
particular student and the progress report so when i can keep all of them together at one location it is a database and it's not only for one student it is for number of students now which operations can be performed in a database in a database you can create files now over here in dbms and rdbms we will be talking about tables so i will not say file i'll say i'll say tables so we can create tables we can add records in that table means student information in that table let's say i have a table student and it has the following columns these are known as columns the columns are like roll number name contact number and email id so i have four columns over here in roll number of course i am going to store the roll number of all the student in name i am going to store the roll name of all the student similarly in contact number and email id i will store their contact number and email id respectively so i can create this table in case i want to add any other column like i want to add address i can do that if you want to delete any of the column or field you can delete that as well similarly you can add number of students if there is a new admission to your class the teacher is going to add the record if the student is taking tc if he is going leaving the school then the record could be deleted if there is any change in the address or contact details then that could also be changed or simply if you want to view students information you can view that as well so all these operation could be performed with the database now this or uh, these all operations has to be performed with some software so that the software which is able to do all these operations like creating editing deleting and viewing the records the tables and every other objects is known as database management system a database management system is a software package with computer programs that control the creation maintenance and use of the database under maintenance editing deleting retrieving and viewing the records etc is included a database is an integrated collection of data records files and other objects as i told you this is also important a database management system dbms in short allows different user application program to concurrently access the same database for example with the bank the database is same but you can access your account anywhere in india so this is just because it allows different application programs at different location you can access your database it is the property of dbms for example the school database maintain the student record which could be used by the class teacher subject teacher the school office and even with the students so your data is stored at central location which could be accessed by any number of user at the same time concurrently means at the same time then some example of dbms are oracle ibm db2 microsoft sql server microsoft access postgre sql mysql fox pro and sqlite just learn them they could be there in the form of mc next we have is data can be organized into the following types it could be flat file or relational file flat file is where the data is stored in a single table usually is a table for less amount of data when you have less amount of data you will go for flat file for example if you simply have to maintain a class list where you have to keep the record of the activity submitted by the student so there you can create an excel sheet that could be the example of flat file there is a single spreadsheet or single excel file which could be used as a flat file so the data is short you are just maintaining the name and whether the student has submitted the activity or not on which day so a single file will serve the purpose next is relational here the data is stored in multiple tables and the tables are linked using a common key and it is suitable for medium to large amount of data for example in a school we have 2000 students so it's a large amount of data for maintaining the data i you have multiple files like the admission file the mark file marks file the result file the attendance file so all these files are interlinked with each other for a particular student if i want to find out each and every information like i want to find his personal information his home address his contact details his parents 
detail and marks also attendance records etc so these are multiple files and they are linked with each other with a common field like for a particular student it's a admission number with the admission number i can find the record from each of the file next terminology is database servers these are dedicated computers that hold the actual database and run only the dbms and related software database servers are referred to as backends where we have all the data and we fetch the data at different location with the front ends with the like in banks you use the atm that is the front end but your data is stored somewhere in the server so that is the back end now let's create a table let's take a table this is a student table where we have the student id one column is student id the second column is forename first name third column is surname last name and fourth column is date of birth so we have four columns over here one two three and four these columns are known as fields so student id is the field name and this is the key field key field means it's a primary key you can see that each number is different it's it each number is unique so that's why it is the student id with which we can identify each and every student record then we have the first name for example for philip the student id is 6473 his surname is barker his date of birth is this so this whole is a record it is also known as row and we also called it as tuple t u p l e so this is all about database server in the next video we are going to discuss the advantages of database features of database or dbms and uh, we will learn different terminologies used while creating tables like primary key composite key foreign key candidate key